watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. here with the legend, Mr. Doyle. Is that thing on? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for giving me some of your time tonight. Well, thanks for the chocolate. You're welcome. I, bri I bribed him with vegan chocolate. Everyone watching, bring Doyle chocolate yes. if you want interviews. No promises, though. No promises. It worked. <laughs> so we're here at Rebellion Festival in England, and your set tonight was great. Can we, can we talk, despite the malfunctions that okay. happened, what was going on up there? Oh, uh, all kinds of stuff. We can't talk about that. That's top secret. Yeah. Well, you guys handled it. You kind of disappeared for a while. There was just like, <laughs> it was like the sound was a little unbalanced. It's like, where's Doyle's guitar? What's happening here? But yeah, I had to leave. <laughs> yeah, you pulled through. It's like, I just hide behind here while everybody panics and tries to figure it out. Yep. And then the rest of the band did a great job, though. They just kept oh, yeah. playing. The drummer drummed harder. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> Um, so I want to talk about, you actually have a son. Yeah. I have two sons. You have two sons. What's been the most challenging thing about being a dad for you? Um, well, they're older now, so, uh, knowing what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> like how so? What do you mean? Like just, you know, slang and stuff. Yeah. You know, the way the kids talk. <laughs> What's been the most rewarding thing for you about being a dad? Uh, it's just awesome. I don't know. It's just the whole thing. I like the whole thing. I, li I like when they're really small and, you know, and you, you know, they become somebody else all the time, you know. And then you miss the one from before and you're like, fuck, I missed that one. But this one's cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I like it. I don't, I don't have children, but I have a little dog and I'm like, oh, I miss her when she was yeah. small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I miss her when she was little. She was so yeah. cute. She grew up so fast. You've been vegan for a while, and mm -hmm. I saw in another interview that it was your your girlfriend, Elisa, from yeah. Arch Enemy, that yeah. got you into being vegan. Yeah. She was vegan, you guys started dating, mm -hmm. and then it was, how did that exactly go? Um, it went like, um, she came out to visit me when we were first dating, and we were in New York City, and we had to get her back to a plane, she had to go somewhere. And we were rushing around real quick, and we were starving. And she said, if we can't find me something to eat, we'll find you something to eat, and I was like, Fuck that. I said, I would never eat nothing in front of you that wigs you out. Yeah. So we, was, we always ate at vegan places and I didn't know what anything was. So she would just order stuff and then I would take a bite. And I would look at him like, oh, my God, this fucking food is so good. It's always so good. Yeah. You know, that's what sold me was the food. It was nothing else. It was just the food was so fucking good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is. I mean, I've been vegan myself for five years and it's. You know, it's funny how it's it's starting to become more widely accepted yes. and it's it's getting easier with what we were talking about before this apps like Happy Cow. Right. But, you know, it's it's annoying when people are like, where, where do you get your protein? What do you eat? Like, where does the animal you're eating get his fucking protein from what we're, we're eating? Exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. And shit. Well, and, and two, and you're so athletic that it's a lot of people are, oh and i love that they're doing all these documentaries now about vegan athletes right the one we went to the uh, premiere of was game changers okay yeah and that one tells you a lot you know um they they did tests with college athletes eating burritos they would they they ate a a, a meat burrito one day then the next day or the same i don't know if it was the same day whatever they tested their blood then they ate the vegan burrito and tested their blood and when they ate the meat burrito it was all fat in their blood. 
Yeah. And, and the and the vegan one was clear. Yeah. Yeah. that you do have your own line of vegan protein powder because you I are, do. that's your aesthetic. I do. I was sick of buying it, you know, so I decided I should make my own and I worked on it for years and then I finally found the right guys to work with me that really were into it and uh, we worked on the flavor for a long time and then we nailed it, you know, and then uh, we have another one coming out, but due to COVID, of course, we can't get it manufactured. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's called Vegan Monster Protein. Yeah, a, fr a friend of mine, um, he's super vegan and he's pretty athletic and I always see it on his Instagram stories because he's a big fan of yours. Oh, cool. So. Yeah, it's good stuff. I just, you know, I really got sick of fucking buying it. It's so fucking expensive. Yeah. So now I don't buy it. So you didn't do, you, you made it yourself. It wasn't white labeling. No, no, no. It wasn't private labeling. Uh, we came up with our own formula and because the company who, who I partnered with, they had their own vegan product. Mm hmm and I wanted more protein and I wanted it to taste more better. I wanted people who are like cow sucking, t cow titty sucking, you know, people eating yeah. the whey protein to, to taste and be like, holy shit, it's yeah. fucking good. So what is the flavoring of it? Uh, this one's chocolate. It's it's all pea protein. You know, um, the flavor is actually cocoa. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I, had, I was speaking to some people a couple of weeks ago, some friends, and it was funny because they were like, oh, we're really into fitness. You, you can't get muscle. And I was like, oh, I have this protein powder. And they're like, we would go through that. And like, yours are really big. So it's two pounds. Yeah. So for people like that, because they're like, oh, well, that wouldn't work. And they're doing all this way. And then they're wondering why their stomachs are upset. Sure. And... Yeah. Because you're not a baby cow. So everybody's <laughs> lactose intolerant because that's not, you know, what yeah. you're supposed to be eating there. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's it's funny to me when people, oh, I'll just take this lactose before I eat dairy. It's like, but you could just not you could just skip that step and just yeah. maybe like because there's so many dairy alternatives now. And I think a lot of people even don't realize that with the way that it's there's milk in it. Right. So that's, yeah, that's, that's, what, really cool. that's what whey is. It's the milk protein. Mm -hmm. So you actually, um, on the bus getting ready for this, um, one of your crew was saying that you have a new product line coming out of guitar accessories. Yes, yes, he did say that. Uh, it's called Von Frankenstein Monster Gear, and it's guitar strings right now. Uh, we're doing a signature pickup, and we have like uh, we do artist um, sets of strings. We got Jeff Loomis and Gary Hall, Logan Mater, and I'm talking to a bunch of other people. And I realize how hard it is to talk to uh, musicians because they just they don't answer you back. You know, you talk to them, you're having a conversation then they leave the conversation and they don't come back and you're like, where the fuck did you go? You know? Yeah. <laughs> and then a month later, you know, you get them back up and oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's actually now that you point that out. Yeah. That's I mean, I like, like off camera, obviously with interviews, this is my time to really, it's like, you have to answer my questions. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> off camera. Yeah. That's exactly right. But yeah, we're, uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be in a guitar center and, and things like that. Oh, that's so, exciting. Yeah. Are you going to do like a big launch party, a premiere kind of thing for I don't know it? what we're going to do. I have a partner who's been in the business forever and, and I let him run the business and I just design all the packaging and go after the artists and yeah, tell them what's good and what's not good. And Because I don't want to sell crap to kids. I don't want to get dog shit products and just throw a fucking sticker on it or a logo. Or, I don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. Well, so... Which ones are your favorite products in the line so far? Uh, so far, the protein and the uh, hot sauce. The hot sauce is really good. Okay. And then in the guitar accessory, the accessories line? Um, the strings. Well, so far, all we got is strings, but we, okay. we made me a pickup. It's called the Von Frankenstein Monster. And uh, we should be putting that out soon because uh, we finally got all the pieces to make it COVID. That's cool. Yeah, you know, it's been taking years. That's really cool. <laughs> So 
obviously a lot of your fan base comes from the time you played in the Misfits. Sure. Can you share some stories from that time? Like just some of your most memorable, some of your favorite. You know what? I, I can't remember anything anymore. <laughs> That's a big problem. But uh, if somebody brought up a story, I, I would remember it. But uh, can you? I mean, something funny happens every day. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, I just speaking to some people here on, you know, on my way to grab my gear and like come over here to interview you. People were like, don't bring up the don't bring up the misfits. And I was like, I've seen in a lot of interviews, you speak very highly of, sure. of Danzig and your times there. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I know because with the band, there is a lot of controversy between various members, but you're it seems like you're on good terms with everybody. Everybody's on, everybody's on good terms, you know, and uh, it's fun. We have a good time. You know, we laugh a lot. We laugh constantly. Jerry and Glenn are really funny people yeah so when they're together it's just it's 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 too much yeah it's really funny yeah i mean i i mean from i can't even call him glad ever you know i've met danzig lots of times in la and it's every time i come up to him i'm just like mr danzig mr danzig sir mr danzig sir can i have a picture please sure. <laughs> mr danzig and he's like okay make it quick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but he always obliges so how's the tour been so far? You've been on tour here in Europe for a minute. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good turnouts, good crowds. Yeah. What's been your one, some of your most memorable shows? I don't want to say favorite because it's hard to choose favorites, but. Uh, on this tour? Yeah. Um, none of them yet. <laughs> I haven't had one I liked. So <laughs> Why? Uh, too many problems. It's going wrong. And oh. Once oh. we get through one and it's a good one, I'll be happy. How much longer do you have left on this tour? We will be done the 25th of this month, and then we go to the United States for a little five show fucking extravaganza because we're playing some festival in K Tennessee. Is it Tennessee? K Kentucky? I don't know where the fuck it is. Okay. Down south. <laughs> coming up um for you besides the festivals you've got you've got the guitar strings that you're launching festivals wrapping up this tour is there anything else on the horizon uh, there's some misfit shows coming up uh there is one in september 8th 17th chicago okay riot fest oh, at riot cool. fest and then there is one the 29th of october in dallas texas okay and then because Riot Fest was the ones that kind of broke that when, you know, they kind of, when the Misfits reunited to do those shows, they, they broke it and they started it in, in Denver. Right. Correct. Um, and then now it's like they're having you back again. Right. And then I remember that um, my friend's telling me that nobody, nobody got to shoot that first Misfits show. No. And there was one little kid with like some fanzine and it was like. Danzig turned everybody down, but yeah. this one kid, he's just like, I like him. He, he gets, yeah. he gets to shoot. Yeah. Sounds right. <laughs> Cause I, I know like 10 great photographers that are my friends. I was like, wow, let's get all these guys. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. home we do the united states for like five muddy roots festival in muddy, muddy roots, muddy roots. roots. tennessee one. that's the one yeah and then uh we do misfits my two misfit shows and then we go to south america for like two weeks november 6th through november 30th wow that's gonna be crazy south so america goes over, off all over there's a huge list of where we're going <laughs> every every south american country Okay, South America fans, I do have I'm a lot sure of people watching the show. We'll be We're going. You're going to burned with torches for Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. My hand got <laughs> stuck in there. <laughs> Chile, <laughs> Chile, Colombia, Costa, there, Costa Rica, Mexico City, Monterey, and then did I miss any? When is Australia? Is Argentina. That, this Australia year? is in December. Oh, in December we're going to Australia. Okay. <laughs> thank you for what three shows 
Three shows. And so three everybody shows. watching, buy your tickets. Um, they can get your tickets on the website. I don't know. Where do we get tickets? Uh, where do we get tickets? I don't, I don't buy one. Officialdoyle.com. Oh, Links are on officialdoyle.com. Everyone go buy your I tickets. I never had to buy one. Only for Misfit shows after the black <laughs> tickets. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so okay. much. I appreciate it. All right, thank you. This is Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein of Doyle, and you're watching Last Rockers TV.